Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries I have for you a brand new as seen on television product. On this Vivian Tries we're trying... No stitch is the easiest way to hem, mend, and fix your clothes ever. Now if you remember a few months back I did the glue one. I can't even remember what it was called. Something stitch as well. That was a glue. This is a powder. A sprinkle a specially formulated adhesive powder on the fabric. Apply the heat wand and it's secure in seconds. It's a magical powder too. All you do is sprinkle that shit on and <laughs> like seasoning and then you pass the little wand and boom. Ripped pants, moth holes. Your pants are hemmed, your pockets are, is that called hemmed? Need to hem a pair of pants? Fix a torn shirt. While I was watching the infomercial I thought well I can't get rid of that sewing machine that she's carrying. <laughs> like that lady looks crazy. Those heavy sewing machines are and then all the glue. Did you see that? Look. Too fuss with messy glue. Too much. But we get the idea. This is a little powder you just sprinkle on so you're not gonna have a gluey mess that you have to wait for hours for it to dry. And now that first product that I tried that was the glue. It did somewhat work and the pants and the remember I glued my dress back that video if you haven't watched it is this one here you should go watch it after this video now this is just for hemming right it's not for like sewing buttons it's not for like zippers nothing like that it's just to put two simple pieces of fabric together and then they will stick to each other i guess now something funny about the infomercial watch and it's secure in seconds did y'all notice <laughs> they're trying to show us in the infomercial look how great and they're pulling the fabrics apart but she's pulling them in the wrong direction like she's not pulling I have some pants here that we're going to test with but she's not pulling where she hemmed and it's secure in seconds because if she wants to show us she would pull these two pieces together right to show us that it's nice and no she was doing this and it's secure in seconds we're like up. Oh. You didn't go in that direction. So doing this out of the dryer, doing this after you're done. No stitch is so strong it will never dissolve or come loose wash after wash after wash. It's not really proving your point because <laughs> proving your point would actually be maybe at the bottom of your pants, pulling in this direction, open, not doing this. This is not proving that your no stitch hand wand iron powder is gonna work. She did it throughout the whole damn video and I was like, all right, we got the point, but you're doing it wrong. So what am I testing today? I'm gonna test these cozy sweatpants, house pants. So I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna glue them back together. No stitch, handheld hot iron. It will adjust hems, it repairs seams, and it fixes tears. It works on all material based on the infomercial look. Works on any fabric from heavy denim to delicate silk. The best part of that infomercial that I literally fell out of my chair and went, what kind of witchcraft is that? Make a mistake, just place the heat wand on the fabric and like magic the hem comes undone. And then the wand takes, I guess the adhesive or the, the stitch out, <laughs> the powder stitch comes off and the hem opens up. Like the same wand. That wand looks like super basic. I'm gonna call it an iron, right? Cause that's the right name, not a wand. It's just so magical. That was the part of the infomercial that I went, I'm gonna have to test that. You see? Now you're gonna look dumb when I can't unhem the powder. Have you ever been to a wedding where the bride comes out in her beautiful dress and then she does a wardrobe change, right? And then she has like a short dress. Still a wedding dress, but a short. We're gonna do something like that because we're on a budget. We can't have two dresses. We're gonna have to transform one dress back and forth. So people think like, damn, that girl had two wardrobe changes. I bought this wedding dress on Wish. And you damn right, I'm not gonna get rid of that. Look how beautiful that is. I paid $18 for this. If you haven't watched this video, go watch it right here. It was really good. I was thinking we'll make it a short dress and then we'll make it a long dress and then a short dress because the infomercial says we can do that. I never heard of a magical powder that does stuff like this. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hope, oh. <laughs> hold on. Does it look like they're plugging it in? 
Did the infomercial have a plug attached? Did y'all see that? I thought it was just like a wand by itself. And you know, I don't like trickety tricks. <laughs> there ain't no cord anywhere. Uh, hello? Where the hell we gonna plug that in when I'm trying to do my dress? At my wedding hall. <laughs> You're gonna carry this around? I guess it's for your house. You don't have to carry it around, but I might. The wedding, hello, I had it all planned in my head. Don't need that, don't need that. All the legal stuff, we can throw that away. Okay. Our instructions. What is this? Hold up. Why do we have a mess? See? Too much. I don't want to do this much work. I just want to, just like the infomercial, we're easy. That's it. I want to use this and this. I don't want to use this. But we'll hold it to the side just in case. Let's read the instructions. The little metal piece in there is to hold it up because you're going to burn your counter. So we're going to need that. Okay, so this little metal piece, you're supposed to just pop it out like that. You see? And then this holds this guy. Ta -da. Very basic. You guys can hear how thin that little stand is. So it's not the best quality, but I guess it's not the worst quality either. Okay. And then a piece of wax paper. We don't know what that's for yet, but it comes in there. So this is your kit. Stand, magical wand, magical powders, wax paper. That's it. What you want for 20 bucks? Do not touch metal parts. None of the metal parts? What? I can't touch this? All this gets hot to trot? Well, is this gonna get hot too, my stand? On the side here, there is a little light indicator to tell you it's on. You do have to let it preheat for five minutes. Number one, squeeze the bottle to dispense the glue powder evenly. Do not leave clumps. Fold fabric over the glue powder Brush off any excess powder from surface. Yeah, cause TSA is gonna get you. Hem that fucking dress or that collar and then go through TSA. You're gonna have your own damn episode of that show. You know that show at the airport? I watched that shit, I'm like, you stupid. <laughs> no, I ain't holding your bag, you stupid. No, hold your own bag. I ain't taking your candy over to Texas from Cancun. No, carry your own candy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not getting locked up, bro. <laughs> You're crazy. No, screw that. Okay, so the wax paper is needed for every step here. Let's keep that infomercial honest. Did y'all see a plug? The plug might be in there, but I don't remember that plug anywhere because I would have been like, oh, you gotta plug it in. That's why I thought it was a magical wand because I never saw the plug. I'm like, where is it getting its magical powers? Is it my vibrations going through there? That's what I was thinking. I didn't see one of those clips of that infomercial where that lady had wax paper. Mm -mm. Not one. Place wax paper over the material to prevent any glue from getting on the iron. Number four, press the plate over the area for approximately 10 seconds. Oh, so this is what you have to do, 10 second increments. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's faster to sew. What? If I'm sewing my whole wedding dress, this is gonna take me forever. I don't know about this. It's fast, right? Remove the wax paper, let the surface completely cool before handling. This will help the glue to harden. If for any reason you need to open the hem, yes. Cover the area with wax paper. Next, run the hot plate over the area a few times. This will warm up the glue and allow you to remove and reposition the hem. Let me see, I wanna look inside. Does it smell? I have all kinds of questions. If I inhale this, am I in trouble? Let me see. Why am I always smelling shit? That's not good. I don't smell nothing. Sprinkle the specially formulated adhesive powder on the fabric. Did I get the same damn product? Because in the infomercial, it wasn't a tip like this. It was like, she was like, like salt. In the instruction, the little light is red. On the actual machine, it's green. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, it's getting hot. It's not hot, hot yet. While we wait, let's go ahead and cut up some pants because I was thinking this hot pink and this camo go together, right? So I'm gonna start designing clothes and selling them on the internet. I should buy a nice pair of scissors, but no, I wanna be cheap and just keep using these. And these are like kitchen scissors, aren't they? <laughs> They're not even <laughs> like, 
good fabric scissors. When the kids tell you they have nothing to wear, change up their wardrobe like this. Cut that shit up, mix and match. Boom, you got a new outfit, baby. The line's not gonna be straight, but it's just a test. And again, these are my house pants. I'm not going out in public like this, that's a lie. <laughs> I'm going to Walmart with these on. And I bought these at Walmart too, so they're gonna be like, oh my God, we used to carry something like that. I said, I know, but I redesigned it. Boom, we're done. Now, I did go like this, and that shit is hot. Like, legit, true iron. Not like a magical wand, like I was thinking. Ta da How cool is this pant gonna look? Do you love it? Isn't this a great idea? I just have to match the crotch to the crotch, right? That's the most important thing is that little line. As long as that matches, everything else should fall into place. <laughs> I don't know if that's a true statement, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna glue right through there, and then, I hope this works. Ready? Do you squeeze it? How does it come out? This is a damn mess. There is powder everywhere. A sprinkle a specially formulated adhesive powder on the fabric. It's not controlled, I'm out of control. I'm sprinkling it everywhere. I'm wasting too much. 20 bucks I paid for this. It's a damn mess. It's like I just sprinkled flour all over my pants. I'm telling you, you better wash your shit before you go through TSA. They're not gonna believe not no glue powder. And we're like, yeah, right, that's a new one. We haven't heard that one, but we still don't believe you. Okay, I don't know how much is enough and how much is like overkill. So I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Just a nice little sprinkle. Now you're gonna put the other side over the top. What if I don't wanna use the wax paper? Okay, ready? I'm just going to town. <laughs> I didn't even, wait. Hey, I'm doing it wrong. 10 seconds, move, 10 seconds, move. Okay, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait, Ooh. is it on my desk? Don't get it on my desk now. The little plate thing of the iron, it moves. If you're not paying attention, you could hurt yourself or burn yourself, at least I would. If I was trying to watch TV and do this, I'd be like, what happened? Psst. Okay, that first part, I don't like that paper. The wax paper, I can't see, <laughs> what is hot? I can't see what I'm doing. I wanna go like this. Don't you feel like it gets hotter when you rub it like that? This is taking too long. If you got like four pants to do this to, I'm gonna need the vacuum cleaner. This is a mess, just buy the glue. Just the mess alone is making me like not wanna buy this. First complaint about the little iron wand thing, the little thing, the plate moves around. That's not a good thing when it's hot and you're trying to be super careful. Oh my God, we're gonna have to wash this. Oh no, it didn't get all of it. There's still powder, loose powder all over the place. Oh, I put it on my desk. You see how that's dangerous? You're gonna have to put this in the washing machine because there is powder everywhere. It's gonna be powder up your crotch, up your butt crack. What do you think? Some parts are good and some parts are horrible. Listen, no stitch people, y'all were throwing jabs at that glue shit. That girl had glue all over the place. That didn't happen to me, that worked. It was a controlled glue experiment, but your shit is everywhere. I don't wanna pull it apart because I don't wanna start over. If I squeeze it, nothing happens really. If I shake it, nothing happens. The bottle is a fail. I knew it from the get, but I'm like, you know what? Let's give them a chance because this would be awesome if it worked, right? Mm -hmm. With a little magical wand and shit, but... <laughs> do you know how long it's gonna take me to do that wedding dress? I'm gonna have to charge extra if I start doing weddings like this. Couple things. In the infomercial, she didn't have a damn mess. 
sprinkle the specially formulated adhesive powder on the fabric. Is that a cute look? <laughs> Ma'am in the camo. Come here. <laughs> Did you swallow anything? You would put this on your clothes? And then if you put too much, it's gonna melt onto your clothes? Like, how do I get this off my clothes? Do I just put this over it again and then iron? I have a feeling if I do it, it's just gonna leave a glue mark. <laughs> this is a joke. Is this a joke? Look, now all I have, it's not powder, it's just crazy glue mark. How long before this is at Dollar Tree? Predict in the comments down below. It already came apart. Could you imagine being at the Dillard's and that shit popped open? You're just gonna have to carry the wand with you everywhere you go. You probably can't see it on camera because it's super white, but I'm gonna just use that line there to glue. Then we're gonna tuck it in and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Then I'm gonna try to take it off. The good thing about the dress is it's white, so you're not gonna see the blotchy powder marks. Because you know what it looks like. Your husband will be like, where the hell were you on our wedding night? You were too tired for me. When I squeeze it, it just blows the powder everywhere. And when I do this, it's not working either. So we're going to fold. Oh, no, girl. This is not going to work because it's going everywhere. Fold it. Oh, I know what we can do. Just the white part. This see-through part, just leave it alone so they can see your legs. What a joke. This is a joke. This cannot be a real product. This might be an extreme experiment, but I'm just saying. Sometimes we're trying to do all kinds of things in different scenarios, and we might not be able to get through the whole thing because it's a fail. It's zero Vivian heads, I'm telling you that now. Unless some miracle happens. <laughs> Good freaking luck. This is as much of the dress that I have sewn in. It's not hot anymore. It's completely cooled off. Look at this. It's holding a little bit. Because the product was such a huge fail, we can't even try the dress. So for that reason, I'm gonna give no stitch, zero Vivian heads. Probably worst product I've tried in a long time. So the pants have now been cooling for about 20 minutes. This is how you do it, ma'am, in the infomercial. You don't do this. <laughs> Stupid. You do this. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.